Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a 6S lithium pack and a 7S lithium pack which we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to in the stock Razer E200. Now these packs are made out of recycled salvaged 18650 cells which you may have seen me harvesting on the YouTube channel. I was originally planning to build a 7S pack all along for these electric scooters however the eBay seller sent me the wrong charger and they sent me a 6S charger. So I built the 6S pack, but then I've just built up a 7S pack out of cells which I've individually charged. So we basically get one go at riding the scooter. Now for those that are interested, I've got the multimeter here and I just want to show you the difference in the voltage between these two packs when they're fully charged. So we've got 25.2, 25.3 volts on this pack, the 6S pack. And then on the 7S pack, we will have a bit over 29.2, just under 29.2, no, 29.2, there we go. Basically, the 6S pack is a, is a 6S 8P, so we've got 48 cells, whereas the 7S pack is a 7S 7P, so we've got 49 cells. So we've got 48 cells and 49 cells, but with the configuration, we get a higher voltage. So let's chuck them in the scooter and let's see what the difference is. So for the first test run, we've got the 6S pack in the scooter. So as you can see, the 6S pack there is working quite nicely. And now for a side-by-side -side comparison, we'll bring it back and we'll put the 7S pack in. All right, buddy, let's put the 7S pack in. Once he's going, it's hard to get him off. So now we'll put the 7S pack in the scooter for the first time ever. Now this has not been done before and the 7S pack will give it an overvolt. So hopefully things don't smoke. We'll see what happens. We'll switch it on. Sounds good so far. So do you think the 7S pack will go faster or slower? I reckon it'll go faster. You reckon it's going to go faster? Yeah. Well let's see. How's it feel? How's it feel? So it certainly looks like the 7S pack is a hit. So the plan is to do a couple of speed tests, side by side comparison of the 6S to the 7S. Ready, set, go! Arrow to arrow. Seven seconds. All right, so we just saw that it was seven seconds with the 7S battery, arrow to arrow. So now we're gonna swap the 6S battery in and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so we've swapped the battery over to the 6S battery, the same rider same scooter 
a side-by-side -side comparison. Ready, set, go! Just under nine seconds. There you go, it really is difference. Should we do a test going uphill? What do you reckon, test going uphill? Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna do a test with the 6S battery going uphill, same rider, same scooter, 6S battery. Ready, set, go. Nine seconds going uphill as well. All right, so we're gonna swap the 7S battery in so we can have a test uphill. So sorry folks, but you're not gonna to get to see the 7S run up the hill because with all the extra power that we're generating, you can see we've popped the rear tire I was expecting that perhaps we would get a fault with the controller or the motor from running the 7S battery. In fact, when we touch them, they're really cool. There's not a problem at all. But with all the hooning around with the 7S battery, doing skids and wheel stands and everything, we've popped the rear tire. So there you go. That's the 6S versus the 7S comparison on the Razor E200. If you've liked what you've seen today, Feel free to like or comment below and do remember to subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification. So folks, back at the shed and uh, having a look at the bit of the Razor junk yard we've got going here. See if we can find a tire and tube to get that other Razor E200 going again. We've got an old E100 which at some stage we've taken the front wheel off of. We've got the other Razor E200 which you might have seen on the channel which I rejuvenated a few years ago. And um, that's got a pretty good front wheel. But here's, a, here's another front wheel um, here. Looks pretty bald on the tread though. But do you know what? For a bit of a laugh, why don't we see if we can throw that on the scooter and uh, get it going. All right, so let's see if we can get this tire and tube out of this uh, front wheel off that old Razor E100. Before we get too carried away, I just want to check this tube actually holds air. So let's get the tube out. So this tube's already had a patch on it at one stage. Good job we checked that because look, it's got a hole right there in the tube. So what we might do is we might see if we can find a patch, get a patch onto that straight away. So with the hammering that these scooters get, I'm gonna put a nice big patch on that hole there in that tube. First thing I'm gonna do is roughen up the tire a bit. Now you always roughen up the tire surface so you get a good contact with the uh, glue to the uh, rubber patch. We peel the foil back carefully from the patch on that.
Now we need to take the whole rear wheel assembly off the E200. Just putting some uh, WD-40 on those bolts so that they loosen. trick to stop the axle turning is to grab a screwdriver and uh, stick it in the slot. And then we need to loosen off these tensioners at the rear. take the uh, brake mechanism off so I just put a bit of spray down there as well and just remember where everything comes apart Now that we've got the wheel off, then we have to undo the screws to pull the hub apart. See, that's where he's been through the tube there. Really no point repairing that. So that tube can go in the bin. So it's been about an hour since I put the patch on this tire. Just taking that brick off and it all looks pretty nice. So let's get this tube back in the tire and get the uh, rear wheel assembled. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to get the tube inside the tire. Trying to go as gently as I can putting that tube in, uh, obviously because the patch has only been on for an hour or so. Nice thing about these split hubs is you don't have to use tyre levers. Little trick is to put the valve cover on before you put the hubs together. Then put the four screws in, in the hub. You saw that I just twisted the hubs until they lined up. And then pretty much as soon as I get this tightened up, these four screws, I will get some air into that tube. Just because if that glue is still a little bit wet, which I doubt it anyway, the pressure inside the tube will push the tube and patch onto the tire. And to make my job easier, I'm just gonna go grab a valve extender.
so much easier than getting the the uh, valve the pump into that tire How good's that? So we've managed to use a, a junk tire and tube from the old Razor E100. All right, and then we can get back onto reassembling. It really just is the reverse order. So if you remember how you took it apart, a reverse order to put it back together. So folks, appreciate it. it's getting late, it's getting dark. As you can see, they've swapped out the rear tire and tube for uh, one that I just mended, a junk one I found. Um, it's getting dark, so I won't go for a test drive now, but if you like what you've seen on the channel, the comparison of the 6S to the 7S battery, do feel free to like and comment below, and do remember to subscribe and press that bell notification.